Journey South County. We're thinking about the Apostles' Creed. And in this video, I want to think about the very first line. The first line goes like this. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so what we saw last week is that uh, the creed has a threefold statement of belief. Three times you say, see it say, I believe in, I believe in. I believe in God the Father, I believe in uh, Jesus the Son, and then I believe in the Holy Spirit. It's a belief in God who is triune. He's three in one. But interestingly, the creed starts off with a statement of belief in God, not in some type of philosophical speculation or proofs of God's existence, but it actually begins, as one person said, with the language of Scripture, that God is Father. That's how it identifies the one we believe in, this being that we believe in. It's the God of the Scriptures, the God of the Bible that we believe in. And in fact, I just want to think for just a moment with you about the fact that God is our Father, the fatherhood of God. Now, in the Old Testament, we, we don't see as much about God's fatherhood. Now, we see some, so I don't want to mislead you there. But uh, what we really see is in the New Testament, Jesus reveals God as his father. Paul will often start his letters with uh, God, the father of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus, in the Gospels in particular, uh, invites us, not only says he, that God is his father, but invites us into a relationship with his father. So that after the resurrection in John's gospel, Jesus says, he is my father and your father. Or in Mark's gospel, he talks about God in, in the garden as being Abba, Father. Jesus taught us to pray our father. We know in Romans 8 and other places in Galatians that we're empowered by the Holy Spirit to cry out to Abba, Father, that God is our father. Now, interestingly, the early church, early teachers in the church, would often distinguish the God of the gospel, the God of the Bible, the God of this creed, with the pagan gods, with the gods of the Roman and Greek culture. And so whereas the gods of the pagans were many gods, this pantheon of gods, the God of the Bible is one. Yes, he's triune, but he's one God. Um, the, the gods of the, the pagans were jealous and uh, uh, often lost their cool, and yet the God of the Bible was uh, reliable, he was unchangeable, he was trustworthy. Uh, you see that coming out even in the, the creed here. Uh, the pagan gods often acted after their own lust, uh, did these wicked things, but the God of the Bible, well, he's a father who's seeking our good. Uh, he's caring for us as his children and providing for us for what we need. So one of the things is we're confessing the Apostles' Creed is that we see the, the idea of fatherhood describes our relationship, that God is the one who made us, uh, who uh, Christ now is our brother, that the Holy Spirit is our comforter, and that we are adopted into his family as his sons and daughters. And God, like a father, he, he spoils us with good gifts. So this week when we're confessing the Apostles' Creed together, let's rejoice in the fact that we know God as our Father and all the implications of what that means. God bless. See you next week.